Hello everyone! Welcome back to Adobe Live. Hopefully everyone can hear uh, us loud and clear. I see so many familiar faces in the chat. I see Keith. What's going on my man Keith? Shauna Lynn is gracing us with her presence. Mama Parmigiana is in the chat today, folks. Uh, I saw Waitakev. Sam Peterson is here. Malik, Chris, Akin, Tunk, Steve. Um, oh, this gentleman named Brandon is also in the chat. Who's who? <laughs> <laughs> just snickering. And like, <laughs> uh, I'll, let me introduce my guest, folks, because he's someone I'm super excited to be um, uh, with here today. Uh, Brandon Gross is here. You got the, the dopest name on the planet. Uh, thank you very much for being uh, here with me, Brandon. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself and tell everybody a little bit about you? Of course. I'm super excited to be here with you too, Val. My name is Brandon Gross, as eloquently put. Yes, Gross as a nasty. I apologize in advance. <laughs> um, I am what you call a design hype beast. And what that is, is I basically just curate the hottest and most pure designs that I find all over the internet. On Instagram, you guys can find me at Brandon Gross. And uh, basically, I just find the top of the line designers and curate their work, but also teach you guys um, in a laugh and learn sort of matter or designers how to do the coolest stuff that I see on the internet on a day-to-day -day basis. So pleasure to be here. Super excited what we have in store for you guys today. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's pretty cool. And I've also checked out your Instagram. I think it's just so cool. It is so neat. It's such a great place. <laughs> the chef's kiss. Ah, you guys can tell this is going to be excellent already. Um, uh, and uh, my name is Voodoo Val. And for those of you who don't uh, who don't know me or who maybe maybe are new to Adobe Live, um, I am a painter and illustrator. Um, I usually help out in the chat with the moderation and stuff, but I also do a little bit of hosting. Uh, I help teach the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, and I also do some pretty nifty uh, design segments, similar to what we're going to be doing for today. So I'm going to actually jump into kind of the plan and what we are going to be working on because this is an awesome design off that you folks can uh, can get in uh, into uh, with us. Actually, I think I'm going to turn that off. I, I think I have the wrong little graphic up. My bad. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to jump into um, what uh, you folks can can do with us today right after I show you folks um, the schedule. So if I jump over here, um, hold on one second. Well, you know what, folks? It looks like I've got my overlays a little bit out of order. So um, actually, um, I can tell you guys tomorrow, we're going to have uh, kind of a different schedule than what we had uh, for today, which I will actually let me let me let me grab this. I'm going to throw this over here. Um, boom. There we go. All right. So um, we're going to have uh, a um, little look at the schedule here. So we had the Marshmallow Fan Video Challenge today with Jason Levine, which I don't know what that was, but it sounds like something I definitely did need to check out. Uh, that is awesome. We had the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge with Jesus Ramirez at 9 o'clock, followed by Photo Retouching with Andre Laro. Uh, we have the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge with Andrew Hockrattle this week, so definitely turn in. We're going to have those all week, all of the weekdays for this week. Um, Stephanie was up with editorial design a little bit earlier with Paul Tranny, which was a wonderful stream. If you guys did not catch that, um, please do. Please go back and check out those VODs. Uh, Howard Pinsky is teaching the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge this week. Um, and we had just had the draw along with Kyle T. Webster, um, which was awesome. And now Brandon and I are rounding out the day uh, at 3 p.m. Pacific with the design off. And we will be back tomorrow doing the same thing. So... How can you folks get involved with what we are doing today? Um, we're doing the medieval fantasy design off today. Um, and I'm super excited because I've been telling you folks that if you are a designer of any discipline, if you guys are illustrators, if you guys are graphic artists, if you guys are hand letterers or UI UX designers, you guys can jump into this. If you guys do photo compositing, you guys can jump into this. Um, but so far we've, we've kind of only done illustration and graphic design for these challenges. So today I'm going to be doing illustration, but my buddy Brandon is going to be doing UI UX design and it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to change yes. over to our little dual stream page over here and show you what I'm working on. We got a blank artboard and a circle going on. I promise, I promise we're gonna, we're gonna actually jazz it up a little bit. Um, but with the 
medieval fantasy challenge, which I hope you all basically can interpret that however you want for your discipline. Um, I am actually going to be designing a sword and shield title brick. Um, like, you know, at the beginning of video games or animations or movies or uh, whatnot, uh, you always have kind of like a little boom, there's a title and it's got cool elements and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to be designing. Uh, what are you going to be working on today, Brandon? Ladies and gentlemen in Val, Val, you are, we already talked about this. But... <laughs> we did, we did. Thank you for including me, though. <laughs> and Thank how you for excited me. I am. <laughs> but for those of you guys who are major Nintendo nerds or in love with Zelda, I'm taking the fantasy and medieval approach because, you know, medieval, medieval stuff, I was just like, eh. But I was like, all right, we can, we can hit that fantasy side. Um, so we're gonna be doing a potions website for The Legend of Zelda. Super excited about that. This is gonna be so sick. Yeah, and Felipe was like, oh, I see Zelda. Oh, I see Zelda? Yes, you do see Zelda. <laughs> you see. Yes, you indeed. You see Zelda. All right, guys. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, are you gonna call this like the Zelda potion shop? Or do you have like a title of your shop? Or, because I, I could incorporate the title of the shop. Like I'm making a you know, thing for that. I don't know. I'm literally just naming it the potion shop. And guys, we okay. will get a name toward, close to the end of this. I just want you guys, those who are listening in this, you guys can actually help in naming this beautiful thing. Yes. So just keep in the back of your mind. You can put it in the chat. Let us know as we're going through this, what you would like this shop to be called. Please do because I'm gonna I'm gonna just put basic text in here and just say potion shop right now. Um, but I guess I could I could totally do like a like a name of our of our shop. Um, and uh, so it's a it's a it's a battle of of like totally like dueling disciplines here. So I hope that uh, those of you who have maybe been watching the show who do UI UX design, I know that there are a few of you. Hopefully, you folks will um, feel more um more kind of inspired um and 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 like you can jump in and get uh interested in these challenges if you use the hashtag um let me actually i'm going to type our hashtag here so that you folks uh, can get involved with us if you use a uh, hashtag adobe live design off like that um, you can actually share your work with us um, on the uh, on, on social media. Uh, I will definitely be looking at social media at Twitter and Instagram um, at the end of our broadcast before we take off, just to highlight anybody who might have put something together for this challenge. Um, and then I'm also going to check it at the beginning and end of the stream tomorrow, so that if you folks um, decide that you would like to design along with us, you totally can. Um, I'm really excited to see what you what you guys do. I know that there are a handful of hand letters and um, and illustrators in the chat right this moment, um, and I know that you guys could do some really awesome stuff. Uh, so join us, guys. Val looks like a flamenco today because oh yeah, because I have my hair up in like a big like a flamenco dancer. Yes, I love it. I'm 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 okay with that. Um, Guys, says, if she looks like a flamingo. Flamenco, <laughs> like a flamenco dancer, Brandon. The fl like, I guess I could also, I mean, my hair tie is pink, so I guess I could stand on one leg most of the time. You guys have no, no idea. Honestly, they can't see us from the collarbones down, so I could be standing on one leg right now. And you guys wouldn't hey know guys. it. We have pure skill out here. And I'm at, what was I about to say? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, I was like, do flamingos actually stand on one leg for the most time? Flamingos. Flamingos, yeah. They do. Flamingos are dancing huh. people, but I really I feel like that's one of those sabotaging words that sounds like it means more than one thing. It 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 kind of does. <laughs> the Sam says a flamingo <laughs> dancer. I think flamingo dancer is the best thing that we can take away from this right now. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint Let's a see. potion, um, or I could, I could, um, I could also call this like an adventure shop because I was thinking it might look cool to do like swords and shields and things. Cause this is like 
maybe maybe potions even though you, like you're specializing in like the like selling potions at this place maybe that's not the only thing that you can get there or exactly. people who would probably be going to buy something at a shop like this they probably have swords and shields let's be honest you know we're out here making that specialized adventurers home or not oh, a home yeah. but like where they can go to like you know we got 10 monsters just late today we got that world mm -hmm. of warcraft test uh mm -hmm. quest even though we're doing zelda yep um <laughs> yep yep we're like yo where them items at mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying honestly um we kind of had this talk uh yesterday i know that your uh game of choice for a long time was uh is wow did you I, like are you still playing or is that just for a long time that was what you played it is it is uh it is a love i really try to limit it to the weekend because any of any people who are in the chat you guys know you guys know it you know if you know if you know yeah, if you, you know you know that, that's like, if you yeah. know you know if you know then you know man and i could you know, if I become a millionaire, I'm playing WoW all, all the time. Day. I don't care. Man, I, I, <laughs> I was I was telling Brandon uh, that my my favorite game of all time is Diablo 2. and that's honestly like potions, 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 man. It's it's so it's so, it's like to the point where like our characters in both of our games probably carry so many potions that realistically it would be highly impossible for us to carry that many that many potions it's like a big deal it's a big deal for yeah. these games potions are are very literally the lifeblood of most games uh they're very important this is a potion appreciation stream this is a <laughs> shout out to all the potions that have been helping us yes. out on our adventures all this time i have a potion every morning that's called coffee that mm -hmm. is like the starter to the day oh yeah i love my coffee i tried a new coffee today Speaking of which, what? I tried okay. a new potion. I found, uh, you know those little those little Starbucks coffees you can get that are like cold coffees with cream, just in the glass bottles, you know? I found one that was called uh, brown butter and caramel. That sounds dangerous. That it, sounds like it was. how you about to paint a toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> No. I mean, it was dangerous as in, as in, I, I, I'm probably going to spend too much money on him in the future. You have me agreeing to all sorts of things and I don't even know what you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this sounded concerning as a lactose positive man, like uh, lactose intolerant positive, you know, yeah, I, I gotta I know what make you sure mean, that though. my label... You know, that's scary. I, I see all that. I, I only drank like, half of it. It was only, it was only... Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it was a very short period of time. I, I enjoyed it, but it was, it was very delicious. It was super good. Um, I know people are, enjoy that. people are probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. I'm about to do a trick here. Um, so I'm, I'm painting, I'm going to put the, the base of my little title brick thing here is actually going to be a shield. Um, and then I'm gonna put like items surrounding it, but I would like to paint this shield looking like semi-realistic But I want to put like a metal Like a steel ring around that shield. So what I've done is I've made a I've made a uh, a Circular shape and I've got clipping masks on it And I'm kind of painting some light around the edges and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this shape and I'm gonna put it over the top and then I'm going to make this smaller. I gotta make sure that these are still on a clipping mask to this lower thing here. Boom. Um, so now I've I've made like a like an outer ring and I've kind of cut it off with the edges of my ellipse here. Uh, and then I'm going to actually I'm gonna duplicate that again. And then on this second ellipse, I'm gonna make more clipping masks. Create clipping mask. And I'm gonna come in with some lighter colors and I'm gonna Go. Oh, oh, I have to make this a little bit smaller. Boom. Um, I'm gonna come in here and start painting, and as you can see, it starts to look like a ring. Check that out! I love it. 
Hey. Wait, who's in the chat saying toilet shot spoiler? Come on, Malik. And Malik. We, we gotta keep it clean here. <laughs> Listen. All right, we gotta keep it P of G. Let's just blame it all on Malik so we don't get okay. in trouble. That's what we should yes. do. We should. You know what, sir? That joke is <laughs> Malik's like, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Why? Um, I thought Val would do something for Pokemon Sword and Shield, though. We talked about that. See, <laughs> we talked. I, I told you. I told you. That's so what the people want to see. <laughs> I know. We thought about we thought about doing that because there. I mean, there's so many things that one can do for for a theme like this. But honestly, you guys can do Pokemon if Pokemon is what is what you want. You guys do not have to not do Pokemon if that's what you like. Um, uh, Brandon is doing Zelda, like a Zelda potion shop. I'm doing like a potion shop sign for that. But um, if you folks want to do something for Lord of the Rings, or if you want to do something Ooh. for uh, for Pokemon, or if you want to do something for, um, what's another medieval fantasy that people, people really like? You could honestly- Medieval could... Pokemon. Yes! <laughs> Bro, can we just get some Pikachus in shining armor? Can we just do that? Can we get can chat? Next time. chat? Yes, next time that's what we're doing. But for now, chat, you gotta, you gotta have our back. I want to see Psyduck with a jousting arm. I want to see Jigglypuff- in like uh, on a dragon that's what i want somebody somebody's got to help me out with this and i'll make an app to train the dragons to train or summon a dragon that's, that's jousting what school do. for pokemon yes gotta happen and they level up for for training gotta happen for training the dragon <laughs> i was they out here just dying game of thrones yes. so poke okay in the chat everybody Game of Thrones Pokemon plus one. Lord of the Rings Pokemon plus two. Ooh, you know what? I'm I'm a much bigger fan of Lord of the Rings than I am Game of Thrones. I'm gonna have to go with that. I've never uh, watched Game of Thrones. Uh I have mixed feelings about that, and I'm very passionate about it, just like I'm passionate about Star Wars, so we won't go there. <laughs> so we won't so we won't do it. But um, it's an interesting watch for sure. It's interesting. I, 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 you mean interesting, or you don't want to watch it? Which one? Is I it? mean, I've seen the whole thing, and I could have done without the last season. That's what I mean. I could have done without oh. the entire oh, okay. thing. I, I, mm, but, but it's a, it's a, it's, it's a great, it's a great watch. Anyhow, it's, a, it's an acquired taste. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely uh, on the list of things that can be done for this broadcast because it is like medieval fantasy. That would totally work. Uh, all right, I'm gonna add some uh, some wood texture in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna draw it. I was I was deciding whether I was gonna do like some photo bashing kind of thing or something, but um, I, yeah. I I actually enjoy. When it comes to painting, like, uh, this is like kind of a game item type of uh, vibe that I'm going for here. Um, and if I can draw, if I can have a an opportunity to draw like a lot of chunky wood, I will take that opportunity. Because um, that's, it's always fun to draw like chunky wood planks and things yes. for me. I love it. So I, that I'm is in what agreement. we're going to do. I, I too would like to draw chunky wood. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff to draw. All right. Um, I want to know what everybody else is has decided to to draw. Put some put some ideas into the chat. Let's. I just want to to figure out what you guys are working on. Wow! I... Come on, guys. There was only one plus one. You left them hanging. Hanging. We have some Lord of the Rings people in there. We have. Oh no. Darna I can't even pronounce it. Daenerys Targaryen. Daenerys, mother of Charizard. Yes. I can't even pronounce that stuff, guys. English. <laughs> Daenerys Targaryen is uh, the chick with the white hair that rides the dragons in in Game of Thrones. Oh, that's who that is. Got you. Yeah. See, I didn't actually watch it. I watched the last episode, and I was like, "You watched the last episode? <laughs> oh man! I I of course you're not gonna like, like uh -uh. it. Oh." Yeah. That's a hard, uh, that's hard to, that's a hard thing to do, man. Well, see, okay, let's talk about this, though. I loved, uh, what's it called? You, you probably gonna rage at me for this one. Toss a coin to your witcher, what's that drum called? Oh, yeah! No, I love that show. 
I love The Witcher. That was that excellent. That was sick. I, yeah. Yes. I cried. I was like, yo, no spoilers. We're not spoiling anybody. Uh-huh. Stay on stream, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so no like, spoilers. Oh, no. spoilers are, <laughs> are a terrible thing. Don't do that. But uh, no, I, I feel you. I feel you. I was, I was, I was into that. You know why I like? You know why I really liked uh, The Witcher? It was super inspiring. I did a lot of artwork, not specifically of um, like stuff pertaining to The Witcher, but um, I did. I yeah. was really inspired, and I did a lot of um, painting and stuff while I was watching that show. But I, I really, really liked it because um, they had a lot of like really um, interesting uh, female characters in that show that weren't just like damsels because like that's kind of like that's like a stereotype character for you know but like the warrior queen bomb she was so cool I thought she was awesome I was like yo can we hang out can we be friends can I just (laughs) talk to you you are so neat Um, I'm sure she would have thought I was just totally lame she would have looked at me like most people look at Yasker um but uh i thought that I is thought that, that the show flute was, boy he's the the he's the one that wrote the song that's a going oh, to your witcher yes. oh yeah he's the he's the the bard the traveling bard that would be me i have been told by so many of my friends like in life that is me oh yeah you're totally and i was bard. kind of like happy and then upset at the same time you're definitely how... a bard character but that's good <laughs> bards are awesome bards are dope though bards are great bards are cool right guys I, I agree. Okay. I, 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 love I have a parts. question, Val. Sure. Go for it. I have, I don't know. This is just a thing. I'm just trying to like double check. Um, I have been told by my friends, mm-hmm. I think they just like to do this. Just like they said, um, I'm like the bard guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I have been told I'm like Olaf from Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, am I just like a side character in oh, everybody's look, life? I've been impaled. That line from that show, that was like the one, I don't know why, because it's not the funniest thing he says, but like when he says that, it it kills me every time. Um, I think that you, I think Olaf was definitely the bard of that group, of that movie though. Even if Even if other people played music and did music stuff, he was definitely yeah. like the hanging out, you know, kind of character like that. Um, I think... Are you Olaf? <sighs> I don't know specifically if it's you're hard. Olaf. Because because Olaf... Olaf kind of has, like, this edge to him that makes him, like, borderline unbearable. And I would not say you're an unbearable person. I think that you... <laughs> I think that you have a, a, a wonderful <laughs> charisma about you. So I can't liken you to <laughs> Olaf 100%. But I think that you you definitely bring a lot of fun into the atmosphere um, and the situations that you find yourself in 100%. So maybe that's what they mean is that you're just like really fun and and in your like comedic relief, do you think maybe? Let's hope. Let's hope. I'll, I'll let those kind words, uh, you know, steer me these next couple of days and, and then I'll let I'll, I'll see. What else? <laughs> what friends else? say, but every every time like I have a call with my friends, they're like, you know, I saw this movie and this is totally you, and I'm just like, why can't we just have a conversation? Yeah, why can't? Why do we have to talk about all the characters I remind <laughs> you of? That's so funny. That is so funny to me. I I have a lot of characters that people tell me that I am like, and it bugs me sometimes because I'm not. I don't like all of them. I had somebody tell me they're like, you know, you're like really optimistic. You're like a uh, You're like Luke Skywalker. And I was like, do I whine that much? Am I that, am I that whiny? Why would you tell me that? And they were like, easy, Val. And I was like, sorry, if you bring up Star Wars, then we're just going to go there. Sorry about that. (laughs) We have to turn some notches if we go into Star Wars. You know what you brought upon yourself. Val said Olaf is annoying in such a classy way. I like to think that that was probably the nicest way I've ever heard it put as well. Um, He is, he is a funny guy though. Indeed. And I I have to say that, I don't know. (laughs) know. That should be my speech. (laughs) I think you I don't know, guys. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And walk (laughs) on stage. I don't know. I don't know about it. (laughs) I don't like it. (sighs) All right, I finally found a groove, I think, for this wood pattern. I don't know if you can see on the stream. I don't know how delayed it is for you. 
but I'm like trying to make this look like like wood. I'm seeing some wood happen. Okay. I'm definitely seeing some wood. It, it looks like wood to you though. What, what do you guys think chat? It looks like wood. Hopefully. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my darndest. I'm, I'm really curious guys, cause it's getting hot. Actually Val, how many lights do you have in your setup? I have two main lights. I used to have more. Um, and I have more when I stream on Twitch sometimes, but for, for, for Adobe streams, I have like the Elgato studio lights. Um, but when I stream, um, on Twitch, when I play like Path of Exile or something like that, I actually have, yeah. uh, I have a plugin that connects into my, I have the Philips Hue lights that change color. Um, oh, word. and I have it map out basically what's on my screen and my entire room changes to the color what's ever on my screen so when i go into like the swamp dungeons it gets green in my room and when i go out into the desert what? it gets like bright in my room yeah and when i fight like dragons and stuff it gets all red with fire like in my room so what? it depends yeah i've got i've got like four of those of those lights but at this moment in time i am only using two lights that is in that's insane i have okay See, like, this is why I don't like to... You can basically have, like, a whole nother world at home. Yes. With, like, technology nowadays. Indeed. And it is amazing. Um, like, let's call it. Are you, are you big into VR or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a, I have a HTC Vive. HTC Vive. Yeah. What, what games do you play on there? Skyrim. Skyrim, Skyrim oh, and, dang. you know you're Skyrim in there for like Beat five Saber. hours. Oh yeah, Beat Saber too, because like, of course I play Beat Saber. Um, but uh, I play Skyrim and I, I got, so so I'm sure there's Skyrim fans uh, in in the chat. I, I feel like I typically attract like some, some Skyrim fan type of people. We feel it. Um, and uh, Skyrim's cool and all, but when you can walk up to the dragons, and they look at you and 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 the vibe it it calibrates your game based on how tall you actually are just so you know so you when you do the calibration you put the um you put the vibe on the ground and it calibrates where the where the floor of your room is and then you put the vibe on your head and it calibrates the distance between your head and the ground so it knows how tall you are and then it puts you into virtual worlds based on where you, what you would actually see and how you would be scaled based on how tall you actually are. I am not as big as a dragon. I am sorry. I, when I played Skyrim on the Xbox and when I played Skyrim on my PC, I yeah. was like zoomed way out and I was just like blasting them with fire and Fus Rodan, all those flying things. And I thought I was awesome. But when you actually show up, I remember the first dragon that shows up in Skyrim. They're like, ah, oh, there's a big scary dragon flying outside of Flytron. That's my, that's my Nord accent. Did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, and usually when I play the game, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to go kill this dragon. Cause I'm the dragonborn. Cause I'm awesome. And nobody can be, right. I showed up to the party. I rolled up to the spot and I was like, I got other stuff to do today. I don't really think I have the time. I think I hear my mom calling and you know, mom's number one. I don't know if I have the time to be, I gotta wash my hair. I don't, I just don't, I just have too much. I hope you guys understand. I just don't, <laughs> I was so gone out of there. I was so not prepared for that. They're big <laughs> they're not, they're not friendly. Not even Parthenax, it's not. Them dragon skates. No. Yeah, it, it was bad. That immersive vibe. Yeah, it was very immersive to the point where I, as an adult, was frightened. Adult terror, for sure. It was, it was too much for me. Have you played like scary uh, games on there? I did. Yeah, I played. I played one time and I turned it off um, because that would change your life. Ooh, I, I played this one game. It was like a scary game that came with it, uh, with like this pack that I got. Yeah. And uh, I I don't even remember what it was called, but basically the, the thing of the game was that 
you have to keep your lantern lit, and the more fuel you put oh, into no. the lantern, mm-hmm. the farther you can see. Yes, yeah, send it back. <laughs> send it back right now. <laughs> Dug it back. The, 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 the more fuel you have in your lantern, the farther you can see. But as it starts to die down, the radius of light also dies down. And you're walking around in, like, this castle dungeon or something. And I remember I, um... No, it was not Resident Evil 7. I played the demo for that and got right out of there. I was like, nope. Um, in fact, I think there's, like, a infamous video of me playing the demo for uh, Resident Evil 7 online. And I don't know how to... It's, it's the one thing in my life that reminds me I cannot remove anything from the internet. <laughs> I can't. I can't take that one back. But, um... I... Yeah, I was playing it, and... You, like... I in knew... I Yeah, I knew that it was heavy on the jump scares. I knew it was. I understood when I went into playing this game that there were gonna be jump scares, but it could not have prepared me for everything. I was so scared. Um, I, I rounded a corner and there was like this giant monster that just like leapt at me. Um, and I jumped up out of my desk and I, I actually hurt myself. I actually like slammed my knee up on the table because I forgot that it was a game for a moment. Cause it put me in oh, that no. mode. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think I can play scary games in this in in vr anymore so i'm like a hard no on those now it's too too real too real real for me i'm sorry not gonna happen i'm right with you like if you could say what you're like uh, uh, do you typically do um like are you into scary things oh yeah i love scary movies i love um uh scary i i do actually like scary games the, I think the yeah. added element of VR is a little much for me, but um, I, I actually can consider myself like a kind of a scary movie snob because I will I will watch any scary movie once, just to to, oh, to give Lord. it a rating. Yeah. What about you? Not not a scary movie. Oh no. Chap. Oh. I'm to the point where like if I just hear Jaws music, I don't, don't care do if I'm like oh, in bed. No. I just like start to tear up and I'm like it's in the covers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, I had no I, I literally um what what happened this week? We so we so we moved this week. Mm-hmm. That's always fun. And yeah, I literally just set up all my stuff and I was like, we'll, we'll leave the other stuff in the bags. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of that later. Um what is blocking this? What is this green thing? Oh, I see. Um so my partner opened the door and uh-huh. it was dark so like this is how bad it is oh no so it was dark in the room and he was explaining to me um like we can't close the door we opened the door or, or okay we closed the door he was telling me like the the door was jammed or whatnot and uh-huh. i was like no it's not and he opened the door it was pitch black in there and i screamed it was you just had to be there like that's how i was scared of a dark room for no reason and i had just been in there and you just been oh. in there <laughs> yeah I don't know. It's just you know, it's hard out here. It's hard. I I don't know, hard. man. I'm I'm not I'm not that. There there have been some movies that made me sleep with the light on as a grown up. Which 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 are those? That was wild. Hereditary was too much for me. That was that was Hereditary. too much. Yeah, that's a. I'm like so. This is the thing. I I uh I watch so many scary movies and I'm so like immune to that. As long as it's somebody else's like experience in the scary. When it comes to scary yeah. games, I have a hard doing that time doing that because I um I'm not gonna go into the scary house and try to figure out what that noise was. Uh, if I hear something sounding like a monster coming up the stairs behind me, it probably is. Um, and I'm not gonna turn around and ask hello who's there. I'm not gonna do that. So we don't do that down here. Yeah, we don't we don't, <laughs> do, we that. don't do that. So when when they're like, all right, now play the game like a like like a dumb person who doesn't know that they're in a scary movie, I can't I can't do it. I'm always just like, why why doesn't the game allow me to jump out the window? Because that's what I do. That's what, if I was really in this situation, I would be prying the windows open. I'd be get you know, and so I can't, I have a really hard time, like, immersing myself and taking the scary movie or the scary game seriously, because I don't, I wouldn't yeah. do any of that naturally, you know? Um, 
but uh, scary movies I can really watch because I don't have any control over it. Because if you give me a choice of what's going to happen next, I'm not going to go to the scary thing. Because that means bad stuff is going to happen. I don't want to do that. Um, but a movie, I'm just like, on this track. I have to... It's never a good idea to watch a scary movie with me for the first time. If what are you I doing during the first time of watching a scary movie? No, I'm, I yell. I yell at them. I don't... Oh. I don't... <laughs> I tell them I tell them how unwise I think they are and I, I tell them I tell them that they're all bad at doing what they're doing and they need to stop um, and and I think people get sick of me they get sick and tired um, of of uh, of watching the movie with me because they're like can you be quiet I'm like they don't know it's right around the corner though <laughs> and they I'm... don't I can't I'm bad I have to watch it I have to watch um, movies like that uh with people like the second time first time is all me yeah i wish everybody was like that though because that means like you're basically there you're with the people that you're watching oh yeah stuff with i'm immersed in it yeah no i don't like stuff to be quiet because that means whatever we're watching is behind the couch yeah there is no noise (laughs) And there is no light, that thing is gonna get me. Yeah. As soon as that next pop stare comes out, I'm screaming. Yeah, I uh I I get I get uh I get really passionate while I'm watching scary movies. I get really, really passionate about stuff. Um but I don't it's not it's not it's definitely not for everyone though. There's some people are just like, Oh gosh, this again? Really? And I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't come here to play. I came here to <laughs> I came here to came here understand to what's this. going. On. Yeah, I came here to. This is a, an endeavor that we're doing here. We're get we're getting into this. I'm adding some uh, some scratches and breaks in the metal here around the edge of my little shield. I actually think this is going pretty pretty well. I'm definitely gonna need the second day to like tidy up this design. But here, I'll zoom out. I don't know if you can if you can see that at all but it's oh dang that actually looks pretty dope yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty pleased with it but it's like a little little uh shield little shield don't go in there lisa i told you to stay put (laughs) exactly (laughs) me all the way oh yeah all right let's see that is so me what else do i want to do all right let's start seeing what we can what we can do what's happening here i have actually never watched hereditary i think um every time i've heard that is that on netflix uh i have no idea honestly i don't i don't even know in if in good conscience i can just like suggest it to people to watch i think it's it's definitely it's definitely not a not a movie for kids and it terrified me i was scared i slept with the light on for two days and like not a joke Everything, most of what I've said up into the uh, to this moment has been like my jokes exaggerated for comedic effect. This is not. <laughs> this is this is not. I was scared after that movie, um, oh, no. and I fancy myself to be like a connoisseur of of horror, um, and I was scared enough that I was not even embarrassed to be as scared as I was. I was like really like, I called my mom. In fact. I was like, I can't sleep. She was like, why? I was like, I watched a scary movie. And my mom, my mother, was like, what are you, 12? <laughs> and I was like, mom! <laughs> mom! Why? Mm. Why are you doing this to You're me? supposed to support me. Yeah. That's she's what I'm, like, I'm yes. trying to sleep, though. I'm, I'm she's, she's trying to support herself at that point. And I kind of encroached upon that. But yeah, I was like, I can't do this. I'm too scared. <laughs> All right, we have got maybe 15 minutes before we have got to to finish i have got actually a lot done on the shield i still need to put like the potion shop kind of thing um the text on it i'm gonna put like a couple of potions maybe honestly i might even uh let's see what can we do here What I might do is like make a shield and then put the potion shop text and then in front of the potion shop text have like a cluster of potions 
kind of sitting around is probably what I'll do. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Very nice. Is so so when Stacy just put like hashtag nope, she just watched the uh the trailer of Hereditary. Nope. Don't scary, scary. Um there's been there's been a lot of uh a lot of like really cool things for me though that have come out of um, being a fan of, of horror, um, and, and one of those is, um, I kind of learned a lot about, like, cause I like to write stories. I've told, I've told you guys this before. Yeah. I like to write stories and I, and I like to, I like to paint characters and everything. That's something that brings me a lot of joy. Um, and it's interesting, um, kind of over the years, uh, experiencing um scary movies and experiencing like horror stories and things and kind of learning um about people in in that way like like what i feel like if you if if you, when you learn about what frightens people you learn a lot about like society as a whole um mm. and there's a lot of interesting um things that go with that like the idea like some people like a monster is scary and it's like uh like a um a beast you can't reason with you know is is an interesting concept i i kind of think like the for me like when it comes to villains and stuff the scary comes from um there being rhyme and reason to a monster like because at least if you're fighting like a monster monster you can like outsmart it and get away you know, but if there's like a, yeah. if it's like a, like a smart monster, um, then that's like, you're kind of done for Cause I don't, I don't know if I can like outwit you, uh, when you have bigger claws than me. That's just too much. It's too much stank on the, on the whole pie there. It's just too much for me. Um, what are you laughing Hold about? On. We can't, we can't just zoom past that stank on the whole pie. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get past it. I was trying to take a hard left. Like, um, you know go, what I mean, go. though. Everybody, don't pay attention. Yeah, you know what I mean, though. It, it, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, I mean, I think you know what I mean. Maybe you're just making fun of me now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know what that means. You don't know what that means? Well, no, this is the first time I ever heard that. That's just too much, too too much icing on the cake, basically. Like you can't be a scary monster and be highly intelligent. That's too scary for me. That's too much. You should uh, not be that shouldn't what does be that allowed even come from stank on the pie is that from a movie i made it up like and okay, and as soon that. as i said it i was like that wasn't good to say <laughs> that was a weird one <laughs> don't do that val it's all good i appreciated it I, thank you i appreciate it chat did we appreciate it because that that was that took a lot of not it took a lot that just shows how creative I like I, I like when like people come up with you're reaching uh, is re like reaching reaching not, to I'm me to reaching. explain away I'm just kidding trying to explain away <laughs> my weird comment that I made I appreciate it so good I'm trying to make this thing go up and I don't know why they let me do that it is like making me go up and down in the layers I must okay have something funky we I'm gonna I'm gonna really quickly I'm gonna peek at uh our hashtag here just in case anybody i realize it's the first day and we only have an hour um so people might not have created anything new for our challenge but i am gonna check out the hashtag just in case somebody might have um bu -bu 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 -bu. oh it looks like we might actually have got one hey yeah we did um Who, who's, all right who's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up before we take off. That's what we uh, so that we can go through it. But it looks like we got one from this might be from a previous challenge though. But it is new, so I'll still show it. It's from R H Seely. Um, so I'll still show it. I think it's from a previous challenge, but that's okay because um, it's somebody who hasn't had a, a spotlight, and I do like to to show the um to show all of the entries on stream that I can, um, but we'll probably work for um, a few more minutes before we, uh, before we jump over to that. Ooh, sounds like a plan. Yes. All right, let me see. 
Ooh, so you get, I like that. You got like a, sh are you going shield? Like well, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm actually going to sketch out my entire plan for it right now, yeah. just so that everybody can see what I'm going for. And then I'll finish it tomorrow. So I'm going to have like, um, let's, let me grab black. So I'm going to write, I'm going to get a different brush for this. Um, so I'm going to have like the text potion shop like written across it like that um and then i'm going to I'll grab like some red and i'm gonna put some like potions and things um maybe like some some health and mana potions and stuff um around like the front like so um, let me grab, I mean, I don't think that they're going to be this color, um, but these, these are, uh, bear with me folks. These are potions. Okay. These are, these are little potions in the front here, but it's going to be like that. So it's kind of like, you know how like, uh, like old timey taverns have like a, they have like a shield or, or something like hanging from the, from the tavern like on the outside and it and it's yes. like the prancing pony or something like that some cool like isn't prancing pony the one from lord of the rings i think that's uh, lord of the oh. rings tavern i think the prancing pony is from is from lord of the rings uh uh uh, uh, uh. Prancing Pony, yeah. Um, it's the Annette Brie where they where they go. Um, but yeah, they have like, you know, like kind of like a like a Celtic, Gaelic kind of um, kind of vibe. Like those classic things. And so it has, yeah, it has uh, something like this. Um, that's what I'm what I'm gonna do. And it'll just like hang, um, and that'll be like the title of the shop. Um, Very nice. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's why. Okay. Shield is looking awesome. I love the little dents and scratches. Cool. Thanks. Um, I'm actually pretty pleased with how much work I got done on it, to be perfectly honest. Because um, we've only we only had like forty some minutes to work so far, aside from all the other things. Um, and we've been zooming. We, yeah, we have been zooming, and there's been shenanigans too. We've been painting through the shenanigans and designing through the shenanigans. Um, which sometimes, sometimes not a lot of work gets done. So I'm pleased with myself. Um, potion shop. Let me see if I, I bet I have a cool, <clears throat> yeah, I do have. Where'd this go? Um, all right. We just need that color. There we go. Back to default. Get my component. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now that should work. No more funny business. There we go. It's a, it's a little too much red, but y'all y'all get what I'm trying to get. I'll like, we'll ooh, tomorrow. is it like a little move hover thing? Oh, I like that. Yeah, That's kind of very Diablo-esque, though. Saying? Like, I like that because... Um, I remember in Diablo 2 when you would like finish a quest and stuff, right? You would um, your little quest dial thing would start uh, filling up with all the quests that you finished before you could go to the next like encampment and yeah. um, that's something that would happen is like they would kind of glow all fancy like that. I, I love that a lot. Someone in the chat, I think it's Sam. He wants to see a Pona uh go across the screen real quick we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna try something real quick print the prancing try. actually do you it. Know this is see <laughs> do it <laughs> we'll see how far we get really quick hold on we got just a handful of minutes so just a handful now we yeah. got this we got this hold do on. it please i just need a sideways opponent there we go that's what i'm talking about why, why is it like that? Save image. Okay, boom. We gonna go in and grab. I don't know what I'm grabbing. Val, what am I grabbing? 
Uh, you're grabbing, um... <laughs> opponent. Uh, opponent, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh no, was I supposed to keep track? Why didn't you warn me? I was supposed to keep track of it? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gonna scare me like that, man? I don't, I don't, I don't know. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, Sam, we gonna make this happen. Just give me a second. Sam is probably oh. just loving this right now. He's probably like, "Aw, yeah, prancing opponent happening right now." Look, hold on. We gotta have a little Easter egg. All right. So I'm so into this right see, now. Let's see, let's see if we can get this. So the Easter egg, guys, is if you click, hold on, wait, actually, before we even get that, where's my opponent? Come here. No. There we go. We're just going to leave you there for right now. We need the same layer. Okay. Here. Got a prototype real quick. We're gonna oh my gosh. Go there. Pony. Let's just name this Pony. With that behind everything. I don't know if this is working. I'm trying very Let's hard see. not to distort text right now. It's okay. Mexico, can I flip this? I'm gonna flip, flip it. And then I need to go back and get my pony over here. I'm going to move her up just a little bit all right there we go we'll gonna flip her the other way oh not the not the potion don't mess up the potion <laughs> and she goes up <laughs> and she, yes she's gonna nose dive into that potion. yes right in there boom okay all right let's do it so she's gonna come from behind the zelda all right there we go we're gonna go from just gonna, eh, we're gonna hit that zero right quick. All right. Um, and if you click, we're, we're not gonna complicate this right now. We're just gonna. Okay. If you click the witch, we get over here. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm a. Oh, I'm uh, so. Hold on. Let me full screen. I'm gonna full screen. Your, <laughs> we're gonna put... Yeah, we're gonna full screen this right, because. On. Let's see. Will All right. Work? All right. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. It lied. What happened? Oh, oh no. I know what I did, guys. Silly me. Auto animate. There we go. Okay. I was like, why? Why was? All right. Oh, that was. Ah! All. <laughs> <laughs> she just oh, dumb. She's why. like, this potion is mine She's now. Like, I'm gone. <laughs> this belongs to me. <laughs> all right. So tomorrow we will we will finesse that Easter egg. Oh um, my gosh. But it's because the other things I haven't renamed on this board, they basically are just like, I'm out of here, boys. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what, are, what are they like? What do they sound like again? What are we they? out of here. <laughs> like, look, watch, watch. We, we, click the, we click the witch and everything just goes like, hey, ah. like, it doesn't know what to do. Like, like I don't even know what this is. This was a meme I found online of like, like out of like red potion happened. needs red berry. That's so good though. I don't know. He just got really swole. It's like super yeah, I, ripped. I don't get just it all either. of a sudden. But I like. But it. I was like, I need filler content. So <laughs> <laughs> memes, obviously, is the only choice. All right, memes. one thing I am gonna do real quick um, before we head out of here is I'm going it's to drag this over and I'm just going to show real quick. Um, this uh piece of art by um r h uh, seely um this was for um our previous challenge um and he made like a really cool like a wizard homecoming king kind of thing with which i just thought was was really cool so thank you for participating um and uh for all of you folks who were designing along with us today um but didn't finish something that you're comfortable with sharing that is totally fine um we are going to be back tomorrow um hopefully with the proper uh, slide for our, for, for our schedule. My apologies for that. Um, but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing more, um, medieval, uh, fantasy shenanigans. Hopefully I will finish my, um, sign. Um, and maybe, maybe I can even pass it to you. You could throw it in there. Maybe we can try and do that. If I, if yes, you could put it at the top, we just see what it looks like. Um, but I, I really had a great time. Um, Brandon, 
Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, chat, uh, for, for being here and hanging out with us. Um, but we are really out of time. Um, we do have to leave. Uh, but we will see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Um, and I hope that you folks will join us and share some of your work with us. So we will see you next time, everyone. Um, and uh, I hope you all uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Awesome.